Welcome back to Afri Pharma. Now, this morning, we are going to talk about an uh, aspect of financing. I know for the last one month, we've been dedicating ourselves to talk about uh, feeds production, uh, farm production, but rarely do we talk about finances. And surprisingly, this is what makes or rather this is what moves a business. Now, uh, a little bit of a backstory is for the last two weeks, I've been working tirelessly uh, on the background, trying to raise external fundraising for Afri Pharma. It's a come to a point whereby I feel we are ready for the growth and we cannot continue praying well, literally small. It's time to go to the big league. And that's not just it. The bigger vision is I feel we have enough factors of production. I feel we have set aside the structures, the processes, but we are not growing. Now, this is what calls for fundraising. Now, how do you do this as an entrepreneur? Where do you go to? What kind of people do you talk to? And for a start, one of the people that I'm not talking to is the banks. Ideally by now, you know, I've been literally been banned. So if you're not talking to the banks, then where do you go for external fundraising? You see, without finances, it's almost impossible to run a business. And that's where the aspect of crowdfunding comes in. That's where the aspect of angel investment comes in. Now, walk with me today as I try to brainstorm how to go about fundraising and if indeed I'm going to be successful or if indeed I'm not going to be successful. So today, we're going to focus on the aspect of well, running a business. And surprisingly, this week, uh, we've been, I've been engrossed in uh, fundraising aspect. This is where I need to fundraise enough investment for Afri Pharma. So the big question is, how do you do this? How do you go about? Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is an interesting part. Um, when you think about entrepreneurship, the picture that we see is mostly of that successful entrepreneur living a large life, driving fast cars, living in the fast lane, and to some extent even flashing some bling bling and even money. Now, while I agree there is actually nothing wrong with I feel uh, sometimes there's this aspect whereby we don't get to discuss often and this is the aspect of building the business. Now with Afri Pharma, uh, when I started the channel, this is one of the key things I thought of myself, you know. Me as Afri Pharma, as a young entrepreneur, I wanted to showcase uh, behind the scenes other than uh, the yay, this is the success. I wanted to show where the laws like, hey guys, um, where does the money come from? How do you expand this thing? What is working? What is not working? And that's why I guess we are here today to discuss um, this topic, which widely for most people, they don't talk about. And this is a the issue of raising financing. Now, by now, as I introduce, you know that I'm banned from the banks. It's not a good, it's not a good thing as an entrepreneur, but ideally it means like uh, your credit is not working for you because they seems you're too risky in terms of the credit worthiness. Now, then it means um, where then do you raise the financing? So ideally, uh, there are three possible pathways which I'm looking. One, I'm looking to get to angel investment. And you might be asking yourself, why angel investment? 
these are the benefits of angel investment now so the next option which i'm planning to do is to try my hand with uh, crowdfunding Crowdfunding is a recent way of uh, fundraising whereby you can either use uh, friends, family members and even total strangers who you don't know. But now for me, I'll be trying to reach out to people out there by way of saying, hey, look, this is what we are doing, this is what you need. And if you have $2 or if you have $5 and you can be able to spare, then we can be able to utilize that to be able to fund our project. Now, other than that, the other thing I'm thinking of utilizing is what you call peer-to-peer -peer lending. And I believe with this one might work or might not be able to work again. But hey, these are different methods which I'm willing to try and eventually see if we can be able to raise enough funding for Afri Pharma and especially for Afri Pharma feed mills to be able to see if we can be able to get the materials, the raw materials and everything. Now at this moment I'd like to pose a question to other entrepreneurs out there whether you're building a poultry farm, whether you're building a tech company, whether you're building well any company or other startup at all what are some of the fundraising techniques do you apply for your companies? And among those, which one have worked magic for you? I'd love to know. And lastly, I would also love to hear what do you think might be the best strategy for an agribusiness startup like Afri Pharma to raise financing? And hey, again, if you are an investor, why don't we have a conversation here at Afri Pharma and see how we can create value for your money or value for your investment. But seriously, right? these are my honest thoughts. So if you have told me when I was in school of business that uh, fundraising is an essential skill, back then I would have said, ah, oh, well, anybody can get money. But now that I've been an entrepreneur and I've been in the point whereby I need money and I've tried almost all sources and cannot get money to expand my business, I'm like, ah, it makes sense. And this is what I say. If you're an entrepreneur, then I think um, you might need to actually uh, invest in knowing the way of fundraising early on because along the way you might need to raise fin some financing or the nature of your business might force you to get the fundraising and if this is not something you're not good at it might give you a headache but hey i think entrepreneurship is more about learning it's more about relearning and as Reed Hoffman says, it's about being an infinite learner. You know, you unlearn and you learn new things and eventually you can be able to build up on that. And hey, before we forget what this vlog is about, it's about um, trying to raise money, trying to raise funds for Afri Pharma. And we are trying to go to different channels. We are trying to approach angel investors. We are trying to go to peer-to-peer -peer lending. We are trying to do crowdfunding. And obviously, here on the ground, I'm also trying to approach investors one-on-one. -on -one. And I can tell you, this this is a crazy movement trust me um, but hey as an entrepreneur you have got to do what you have to to make sure that your brand your baby is up there the way you've always imagined it now i believe we have come to the end of today's vlog but before you go right here there's an amazing video for you click it watch it and let me know what you think in the comment section below